Hey, Mr. Parky here to review a new one from Masker Video. It is Mutilations. I had heard about this film probably a few years back, and I was always interested in it. I actually never thought I'd get to see a DVD of the movie, and luckily, we're all lucky enough to actually get to see it released on DVD. Uh, this was a regional film made in uh, Tosla, Oklahoma, uh, back in 1986, and was released in 1987. Uh, and uh, we're... Uh, gonna hop right into the movie. Uh, this one is definitely a low-budget film made for about $95,000 at the time uh, and it's uh, one of the films that uh, is kind of a 50s throwback but made in the 80s. Uh, you know I would say something people would be thinking like Killer Clouds from Outer Space but this one definitely feels more like a Don Dollar Fair or something like Equinox, one of those type films in that kind of vein. Lots of stop motion, lots of uh, you know date, outdated practices even for 87. But uh, that stuff takes a lot of hard work, and uh, you can definitely see the craftsmanship in it and uh, the heart in that kind of effects. And what we have here is a professor who takes his a group of students across kind of in a rural area to look into these cattle mutilations, uh, what, what's happening. They run into a, a flying saucer, and these aliens kind of uh, trap them in a house, and we get a siege type deal. Uh, the aliens look cool. Uh, they're mostly stop motion. Their legs are not. And uh, that's about it. Uh, the, the film, uh, the acting is definitely subpar a lot by a lot of people. And it's funny, it seems, it seems the, a big chunk of the main cast is kind of over the top, purposely. And uh, it does kind of get, it wears out its welcome very fast. But uh, it's done purposely. A lot of this film is kind of done over the top and silly in a 50s style vein to mimic those kind of movies, look at the effects, and, and it, it works in its own charm. Uh, I must say that the film has endless amounts of heart, which made me kind of uh, root for it regardless of its, you know, it, its budget and its problems. Uh, and I must say that it is definitely an interesting film. Uh, there is a couple of core shots in the movie that come in, and they're kind of just shocking. Uh, one of the scenes, one of the death scenes in this movie has got to be one of my all-time favorites. Uh, a guy gets kind of absorbed and he starts melting and uh, his face gets stretched out his hair falls off. <laughs> it's on the back of the case. You'll see it here. Uh, you'll see the cover and everything like that. But it's just a, a crazy, crazy scene that you'd always see in something like this. Uh, so you get moments of cool special effects, tons of heart, uh, you know, cool looking aliens. Uh, the stop motion and you know rear projection is very dated even for 87 and doesn't look necessarily great the film was shot on film but it was edited on a one inch master or three inch master or something but it was it ended up being on a one inch master and uh, that's why it's only on dvd and the quality will never be better than this and it looks pretty good it's definitely watchable uh for similar releases like Nostril Picker, it will, for Massacre Video, it will look like something like that, which is completely watchable film. And this does have that kind of sort of uh, feel like that too, kind of like a homegrown kind of stuff. I, I always kind of enjoy that, those weird kind of homegrown movies. But uh, this is Mutilations. The disc it includes uh, the screenplay actually on the ROM. I didn't get a chance to read it. But it includes a commentary with uh, the owner of Massacre uh is on there along with the director and he kind of you know ask him a series of questions and he's a fan of the film so he gets in details of what do you think this alien did or what do you think they would do here and things like that and he, he shows a genuine interest in the film it's not just your typical questions there are typical questions which are interesting as well but he shows a genuine interest inside the film script and uh, the director has th put a lot of thought into this film he definitely didn't half ass it he had thought deep and hard about these uh, the, the aliens and the rules and things like that and based these off the, kind of the War of the World style 50s alien films and like I said those films usually turn out pretty fun uh, there's also a 40 minute or 39 minute retrospective which uh, includes interviews from uh, basically the uh, cameraman he's like AD he did like everything on the movie uh, the director and one of the actresses in the film that is also an interesting piece uh, bloopers are on here uh, a few trailers things like that a bunch of still pictures and an old uh, uh, cable access interview with the director where he seems very you know uh, again passionate about the subject they also talk about possibly releasing the director's other film well that it is coming out called the change which has never been released and i'm sure it is something uh else because this film is definitely an interesting cool film uh when i say check this one out i would say yeah if you like uh the 50s style sci-fi and the 80s kind of 
deal. I mean, it feels really cheap, kind of uh, like a even lower budget, like a Deadly Spawn or Abomination. Like it has that cheap kind of gritty feel but it also is a sci-fi movie so it has the cheesy fun involved with it uh it is short and uh, it doesn't wear out its welcome which is nice uh uh it's just a movie that is kind of needs to be seen to be believed uh, i'm mr parka thank you very much for watching and have a good one the milky way galaxy a cluster of more than 100 billion stars over 100,000 light years across our sun is a somewhat average star located far out from the center of this system and on a clear night like this, you can see several thousand stars, or so some astronomers say. Well, how about this astronomer? Stories go back to ancient biblical times, indicating that perhaps life forms from other worlds had visited, even walked the Earth. Something bothers me, Professor. What would these life forms be like? Could they be not human? It was once a cow. They're spaceships from another world. And the creatures that pilot them, they look like demons out of hell. I know. I seen them.